Hello and welcome, I'm Marimba. Thank you for joining me. Let's continue with Faster Than Light. This is our second playthrough. Now this will kind of showcase how this roguelike style works. There are no save games, like you can't you know, pick this file and load up. It's You can have only one save state at any given point. So if I click continue, it's just BAM! <laughs> right back where we left off. And if I try to do anything other than save and quit, it just kills the save file. So. It is permadeath. But anyway, let us continue. We need to jump. We are now in Sector 6, a civilian sector. We're looking pretty good, 143 scrap. We've got uh, my fire beam, which I'm pretty excited about. I like that thing now. Although it is preventing me from being quite as aggressive with teleportation. We'll see what happens. There are only two ships within range, and they seem to be engaged in battle. One of them has the markings of a space pirate. Let's aid the civilian ship. You power up, up your weapons and engage the pirate ship. They've got a rock crewman, two humans, and two mantis. Looks like they're sending one mantis, at least, and probably the rock crewman over to board. So we'll keep ours behind for now. Three levels of shield. How do we want to handle this? We do have a cloaking device. Could use that. We might as well. That'll actually prevent them from teleporting over. And give us a chance to charge up our weapons. Let's do that. Might as well. Turn off the med bay, turn on the cloaking. We'll just engage it right away. You can't teleport over here, silly guys. Now here they come. It doesn't seem like much, right? It's only five seconds. But during that five seconds, my weapons were charging and his were not. So that should give us a slight advantage. Now, where are you guys teleporting to? Hey, have fun. Sent over a humanoid and a mantis. I'll just blow out the airlock. We've got improved doors, so they've actually got to knock that door down before they can get out. So we'll just blow the oxygen there. And now that we're on a cloak, let's, uh, let's go with this. We'll fire the burst laser on the shield room. Hull laser does extra damage to rooms that don't have any systems, so I'd like to try to get some hull damage in. And then we'll hold off on the fire beam. That's right. Die. Okay, the fire beam, I'll try to hit both of these guys. Go like maybe that. Should be good. Oh, shoot, the timing is off. Okay, we'll have to hold off. Okay, they've broken through that door, but they took half damage. Let's send these guys in there. Have that guy help out. He'll tank a bit, that's fine. Okay, I've taken one system damage. Hey, you don't teleport bombs in my ship. Sensors are down. Go fix the sensors. You can hang out there, that's fine. You two, go over there. You can go back over there. Just blow out the airlock there, get rid of that fire. All weapons are ready, so let's do this again. So we'll shoot those there. And now fire. Fire in the med bay. And yeah, fix up those sensors. I want to see where that fire's at. Cloaking is up, so might as well use it. Haha, <laughs> fire! Fire everywhere. Yes. Alright, let's um. We'll do another blast to these two rooms. Try to take those shields down. Do a quick pulse of uh, healing so I can get this guy healed since he doesn't really need to be in that room anymore. Stop it with the bombs. Missed. If I can get those shields down, I can use the fire beam at will. First laser in that room. Whole laser into that room again. We'll just keep picking on the little guy. And fire! <laughs> I like the fire beam now. It's fun. 48 scrap. The civilian ship wisely made a fast retreat while you were distracting the hostile ship. It's not very nice of them. Okay, make sure we get oxygen turned back on. You can go back to your room. You go back to your room. Looks like the doors are damaged, so let's fix those. You're not at 100%. Okay. 
I'd say we're looking decent. Let's continue. Distress beacon. You locate the source of the distress call, a nearby human mining colony. An unknown disease has spread virulently among the workers. They are trying to set up a quarantine to mitigate the spread of the disease, but lack any enforcement, and a riot seems likely. Excellent. So because we have a rock and NG, we have sent my NG to calm down the infective. No, no, no. We'll send the rock crew, man. It's unlikely the rock's impressive immune system is susceptible to a human virus, so you send it in. It is able to intimidate the workers long enough for the colony forces to set up a quarantine. Their leaders offer a reward and assure you they will try to find a cure as soon as possible. Cool. How nice of my rock crew man. Oh, he's not. Can you heal him up too? Oops, that's not right. Okay. You jump into a sector filled with civilian activity. Your scan, your scan the various advertisement channels while waiting for your FTL to charge and are intrigued by gray market shipwright. So trade five fuels for four missile. That's a bad trade-off. Although I don't really use missiles for anything. I'm going to hold on to them. That's just a bad deal. I think. Scans show a remote settlement being blockaded by a pirate ship. The ship hastily messages you, stay out of this or you'll be next. Hey, we've got a fire beam. Show the pirates how to intimidate settlers. Burn their crops. <laughs> yes. <laughs> The pirate watches as you start to light the meager crops on fire. In a few moments, the settlement surrenders, offering tribute to leave them alone. The pirate seems impressed. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> so he's trying to intimidate these settlers, and we just come in and burn them all to death. <laughs> That's great. So we picked up a boarding drone. This, thing, this thing's awesome. I don't think we actually have uh No, we do have a drone bay. Man, I've got everything on this ship. This ship's getting decked out. All right, well, let's continue. Let's go to the store now. I don't think we really need to, to hold off to get more scrap. Let's see what you have to sell. We don't have room for any crewmen. We already have eight. We could get a second boarding drone or a hull repair bot. I'd really like to get one that sells augments, augmentations. Let's just stock up on a little bit more fuel just in case. We've got tons of everything, really. Okay, let's, it's time to dump some money into our ship. Alright, we'll go up a level in shields. And at the same time, I want one more point in engines. And let's get a little bit more potential power to the drone control. Well, let's hold off on that for a second. This requires three power. Got the defense drone. Let's do, go with the defense drone and a boarding drone. And then I will do one more potential power to drone control. So that if I need to, I can power the boarding drone and launch him. That'll help out with these two. Not to mention he punches a hole in the wall. Which is pretty neat. Why are we not at 100% oxygen? Game's not paused. Do I have a door open somewhere? Here. Spread. Spread quicker. Seems to take a long time. Right. Let's continue onward. I mean, this could be fun. Sending in a boarding drone plus fire beam. Um, let's attack. I always like attacking people. Okay, we'll start off by tele um, going invisible so that we can get a jump on the weapons charge. I'd like to get that up to 10 seconds if possible. Might as well get an extra level of shields and engine going. 45% evasion is pretty good. And I'm going to hold off until we actually have the fire beam ready. Because i got to time it perfectly. 
fire, fire everywhere. I want to see in there so bad. Why can't I see in there? It's the nebula. Damn. We're just going to shoot it down. Look at all that evasion. We didn't even get hit. These shields can stop everything. And we're ready. Fire. <laughs> we killed all the crew. <laughs> they must have been on fire in that room. With the crew dead, you are able to take the fuel out of storage. Yes. Wonderful. I love this. At first, I have to admit, I thought the fire beam was really stupid. Now, I think it's awesome. I love it. It's my favorite weapon. We need to get two of them. There's nothing here. That's unfortunate. It's hard to see why, but this beacon is apparently a tourist destination. One of the ships at the small station is offering a deal. Minus two fuel to gain four missiles. See, now that's actually a pretty good trade-off. Getting twice as many missiles, and missiles usually cost either the same or more than fuel. So I'll, I'll actually take it even though we don't use missiles. I might use missiles. You never know. Someday. Let's go up this way now. A pirate ship arrives shortly after you. Judging from the fact that it is attempting to avoid your ship, you assume that it's a smuggler trying to stay away from beacons. Activate your advanced weapons threateningly. Of course we'll do that. They hail you. There's no need for aggression. Perhaps this would convince you to look the other way. Two fuel and 43 scrap. Um... I think we can get more scrap, because the last guy we just killed, I think, gave us like 60-something. So let's attack him. And we'll do our old cloakaroo to start. I want to get one more level of cloak. Ported a mantis into my room. Do -do 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 -do. That's not going to go well for him. Okay. Remove the shields. No. The fire beam cannot penetrate any level of shields. I always launch a boarding drone at him. Just for fun. Look at that, we even dodged a missile. That high evasion is really working out to our favor. Come on, take out the shields. Fire, fire everywhere. You can actually time it so your cloak goes off right before, right as they shoot their shot, and you avoid those hits. 100% evasion. Fire in the cockpit. <laughs> I really want to stop fighting in this nebula because I want to see the combat. Or see the fire everywhere. Yeah, we should probably power the medbay for a second, get these guys healed up. They can't actually escape with the uh, the cockpit destroyed. They hail you. We realize our ship is no match for yours. If you let us go, we can make it worth your while. We'll get an FTL recharge booster. Two missiles. No, two fuel, four missiles, 42 scrap. Now, I would not get the augment if I kill him. And that's actually a much better deal than he was offering a moment ago. So, sure. We'll take it. I like the idea of getting a couple more augmentations. This one isn't really that useful to me. This is only good for escaping, which I don't really do very often. But um, I could, with the scrap we have right now, I could probably get one more level of weaponry and then actually have the ability to power the, whatever that thing is called, the eye bomb, ion bomb, or we could take another level of cloak. 
I think cloak sounds more appealing. Okay, let's take two power so I can keep the uh, keep the med bay going more often. That'll give us ten seconds of cloaking now, which is pretty significant. Ooh, and I've learned the shortcut key, C. Makes sense. Okay, we are orbiting that one, so let's go there. Uh-oh. You jump into the middle of a plasma storm. Multiple recently incapacitated ships loom in the shadows, briefly illuminated by the lightning. Uh, let's manually search the wreckage. While the crew is off, the ship searching through the wrecks. Two hulls crash into each other, breaking the crew's tethers. You have no time to react as someone is knocked away, floating helplessly into the gaseous clouds. I believe that means we've just lost a person. But we did get some stuff, so... We've got three humans, two NG, one slug, one mantis, one rock. Oh, it looks like we lost our rock crew man. That's too bad. I liked him. Damn. Now we don't have a full crew complement. Nothing here. Upon completing your jump, you receive a message from a nearby ship. Greetings and welcome to our beacon. For a small fee, we'll let you continue on your way. Ah, uh, no. Too bad you will regret the decision. You only have two people in there. I don't think that you're any real match for us. Especially because we've got this... Whoa. Everything's unpowered. That's right. Let's power the... Cloak fully. The medbay powered. All of our weapons are operational, at least. And yeah, we'll go with an immediate cloak. See if we can actually take them down. You know, I'd like to do... And we'll just take our time. There's no real rush. So now basically I can open up any combat with an immediately an immediate burst volley with the fire beam. Against this guy with his extra shields, it's not going to make a difference. So we can't actually even get... we got four damage done. But, yeah. You can't penetrate our shields. We're too good. It appears we can hit about five tiles with the burst, the fire laser. Yes! Fire! It's not going to hurt the rock, but we'll take it. Cloak. Aha, I used the shortcut key there. Let's do some more damage to this room. And do you have any systemless rooms? Nope. Okay, let's take out that cockpit then. You have made your point. We are beaten. Take these and leave us to our shame. Six missiles, two drone parts. I want scrap, so no. We'll get more scrap from blowing them up. Setting fire to their entire ship is superbly entertaining. Look at all that fire. I love it. Now he's immune to the fire, so we'll just have to keep shooting him. But his ship is not immune to the fire. Fire can actually cause burn damage to the, to the hull. There we go. 58 scrap. Pretty good. Alright. Time to go to the exit. Looks like we have to fight one level of rebels, apparently. They just merely made it. Alright. Alright. Cloak. I'm actually going to... I'm glad, you know, basically we started off being more of a uh, boarding team, and now it's more of a burn damage slash murder everyone team. A couple humans have boarded. Let us shoot down their shield room. Okay, they just teleported back, so they're going to be in this room with the fire. So let's just lay down some extra damage. Yeah. Be nice if we could have killed one of them, but... I'm going to cloak through their next volley. And... I don't have the stealth weapons augmentation, so if I attack right now, it's going to break my cloak. But I'm okay with that. 
Let's just throw down some fire in these rooms. It's like they just, they don't even know where to go. <laughs> That's what I love about it. They're like, oh shit, there's fire! What do we do? <laughs> hey look, there's gonna be fire up here now too. We fire everywhere. Everywhere they go, they're taking damage. And the other thing is that fire consumes oxygen. So, not only are they burning to death, but they're getting consumed by... Oxygen. They're getting killed by oxygen deprivation. I really want another fire beam. Ah, child's play. Alright, let's jump to the next sector. We will go, we only have one sector left before we get to the end final one, so let's go to the... Uh, let's go to the, the slug one. I'm, I'm, this is my easy playthrough to try to get some more ships, so let's go check out the slugs. I'll wrap this video up here, in the next video we'll play Sector 7. Thanks so much for watching, we'll see you soon.